Yeah, hello everybody, this is Steve, uh, one of the uh, KW guys. Uh, this is my KW2000B, there are other videos of this on uh, the web. Uh, this 2000B drifted terribly. I have a suspicion that somebody's been inside the VFO uh, because the, uh, the VFO coil, it sticks out the bottom of the VFO, does not look original and uh, I didn't want to take the VFO to bits and then put it back together and test it so in this radio I have <coughs> excuse me installed a Cumbria Designs X-Lock which is a huff and puff VFO stabiliser so I didn't want to uh, do too many mods to the rig they could all be reversed so here's the board for the VFO stabiliser it's mounted on a screw that's already in the radio Actually, it was a rivet, but I drilled it out and made it screw. And mounted it on a couple of bits of PC board, because that's less metal work. And here's the VFO stabiliser. And the coax connection is directly tapped onto the VFO of the 2000. The 12 or 15 volts to supply this little, lovely little PC board, which comes as a kit. The 12 volts for that comes off of uh, a diode and a capacitor off the 12 volt supply or you can use the relay supply just plus 12 to 15 volts and these little huff and puff stabilizers need to voltage control the VFO with a vera cap inside but the 2000B and the E make this very very simple because there's two vera caps inside the VFO of the 2000, one for the IRT clarifier, and the one I've used is the calibrator. It's a second little vary cap in the VFO, and uh, moves the VFO a few kilohertz left or right, up or down. So I've disconnected that, and I've put the output from the X lock directly. So you can see that. Here's the VFO, and you can see my possibly non-standard Denko coil. Now the purple wire at the top is was the calibrate uh, vary cap input. So all I've done is taken the uh, output of the X lock and connected it to that. Now what will happen is the VFO frequency will change slightly. So I've just adjusted that, and it's the green. Uh, Denko coil. I think I've just adjusted that to bring the VFO back to um, um, the uh, the right readout. I have lost the calibrate function, which is a bit annoying. You can make little um, DC summers to join the um, summing amplifiers to join. You know, I could join the uh, uh, the X lock output and the clarifier so uh, and the um, calibrate so that I could bring it. I could change it band by band, but I haven't bothered with that at the moment. So here it is running on 80 metres. It's an absolutely fabulous bit of kit. Works straight off. <coughs> change frequency, and the light goes red. Let go, and it locks onto its locks onto its nearest 10 hertz step. And green means it's holding the VFO stable, and it's ast astonishing. Here's one of my mates on 80. There's really nothing else to say about this thing. It's 35 quid, which I think is a bargain. Beautiful little board to make up. And on the 2000B and the 2000D, you just tap into the, the calibrator. That's, that's it there. Um... I could make a little DC summer, it's more stuff to put inside the radio. It's, so just remove the wires and take out this little board and the radio's all original again, but who would want to use it when it drifts so much? So um, there you go. Look it up, Cumbria Designs x lot 35 quid. Fantastic. One of the best ham radio little circuits I've ever made. So, time to put the radio back together. Fantastic. Cheers, folks.